My name's Tommy Rowe. I'm a creator and filmmaker from the southwest of England. When Lumix and Atomos contacted me about producing something for the release of new firmware that opens up ProRes RAW to the BGH1 and Ninja 5, I thought it'd be a fantastic opportunity to produce something I've been wanting to do for a while now. A short film about my home county of Cornwall. Cornwall is a county on the southwest peninsula of Britain, one of the Celtic nations, and it's just an all-round incredible place, really. But it looks and feels very different depending on what the weather's doing. It can look like the Mediterranean one day or one of the wildest places on the planet another. I also knew it'd be the perfect place to test this camera recorder combination and really put ProRes RAW through its paces. <laughs> Turns out that we were really lucky with the weather. We're going gimbal now. Clear skies, yeah. bright sunshine. Pasty. <laughs> no gale force winds and no rain perfect conditions to see what this kit is capable of. Bright contrasty scenes like this are really demanding for any camera system, pushing the dynamic range to its limits. Yeah, I'm hot. I can still see all the detail with those cliffs back there. For me, as someone who shoots a lot of run and gun style content, flexibility and versatility are incredibly important. A lot of what I do involves being able to just pick up and go working in a small team and even shooting solo. Lots of working on foot across harsh terrain, often having to carry a lot of kit myself a very long way. So form factor, size, weight, these things are all key and I'm always looking for a setup that delivers the specs I want in the most compact form. This is why you come to Cornwall to test. But also without compromising in any way on quality. Pitch black in here, bright sunshine out there. And you're still picking up all that amazing detail. That just looks so amazing. <laughs> the BGH1 Ninja combo, it was already a solid setup, but with this firmware update and ProRes RAW now unlocked, it's a proper little powerhouse now. I'm trying to do it without sand. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> this is that. It worked well handheld, shoulder mounted, but thanks to that box style form factor, it felt particularly well suited to gimbal work. Getting a flavour of raw from a setup like this is genuinely amazing. So we've got our friend Mike surfing out there. He's a quite a long way out, so I had to switch over to the 35 to 100, roughly a 70 to 200 equivalent. I've never used it on a gimbal. Very slight movements go a long way. But we've got a couple of good shots so far. This would be better on a tripod, really. 4K60 in 12-bit ProRes RAW. I mean, what more could I really ask for? So ProRes RAW has been everything I'd hoped it would be, really. And I was also pleasantly surprised with the file sizes, too. Um, a full-day shoot didn't even fill up a 500 gig SSD. It's a wrap! It's a wrap. It's been a perfect day. 